Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about our project, Smart Control of Traffic Light System using Artificial Intelligence and demonstrate the same. First, let me quickly introduce the team. I am Mihir Gandhi and my teammates are Devan Solanki and Ruthvesh Daptardar. We are final year computer engineering students from KT Soumya College of Engineering Vidya Vihar in Mumbai. We have done this project under the guidance of Mrs. Nirmala Shimli and Mrs. Kavita Kilk. Let us start with why smart control of traffic light is required in the first place. The congestion of urban traffic is becoming one of the critical issues with increasing population and automobiles in cities. This leads to traffic jams that not only cause extra delay and stress for the drivers, but also increase fuel consumptions, add to tra transportation costs and increase air pollution. The traffic lights are one of the critical factors affecting traffic flow and these can be improved to optimize the flow of traffic. So what kind of traffic light systems are used currently? There are three types of systems being used. First, manual controlling. As the name suggests, this requires manpower to control the traffic. Traffic police are allotted for a required area to control traffic using sign boards, whistles and sign lights. The second one is our conventional traffic lights, which are controlled by fixed timers. A constant numerical value is loaded in the timers and the lights are automatically switched to red and green based on the timer value. The third one is electronic sensors. This is an advanced method which involves placing loop detectors or proximity sensors on the road. This sensor gives data about the traffic on the road and the traffic signals are controlled according to the sensor data. All of these systems have some drawbacks. The manual controlling system requires a large number of manpower. Conventional traffic lights use a timer for every phase which is fixed and does not adapt according to the real-time traffic on that road. With electronic sensors that is proximity sensors and loop detectors, the accuracy and coverage are often in conflict. And for sufficient coverage, a lot of sensors are required. These sensors are quite expensive. We try to overcome these drawbacks and improve the system using a new system. As we have seen, the traffic flow has no specific pattern that is followed and the static signal timers pose a huge problem to the already critical problem of congestion. Consider during morning and evening, the majority of the traffic movement direction is always opposite. Even during weekends and on holidays, the flow of traffic tends to change. Taking in account these above mentioned factors, keeping a static waiting time duration for every traffic light on every side of the intersection leads to the problem of bottleneck where one particular direction tends to be heavier is given a green signal time of the same amount as another direction which has considerably lesser or no traffic at all. Therefore, implementing a system which aims to reduce chances of such scenarios by automatically computing the optimal green signal time based on the current traffic at the signal will ensure that the direction with more traffic is allotted a green signal time for longer duration of time as compared to the direction with lesser traffic. This will help to reduce the congestion which will in turn reduce waiting time and stress for the drivers as well as reduce fuel consumption and air pollution. To summarize, the objective of this project is to design a traffic light controller based on computer vision that can adapt to the current traffic situation. Our proposed system aims to use live video feed from the CCTV cameras at traffic junctions for real-time traffic density calculation by detecting the vehicles at the signal and set the green signal time accordingly. Moreover, the vehicles are classified as car, bike, bus, truck or rickshaw to obtain a more accurate estimate of the green signal time. The advantage of this system are as follows. It enables real-time traffic light switching according to the current traffic density. It requires virtually no new hardware as CCTV installed at traffic signals are used. It is less expensive than sensors and it is autonomous so there is no need of manpower. How will it work? Our proposed system will pass a snapshot from the CCTV cameras at traffic junctions for real-time traffic density calculation using image processing and computer vision. We are using a customized YOLO model for object detection in order to detect vehicles. The scheduling algorithm will use this traffic density and appropriately set the optimal green signal time for each signal and update the red signal times of the other signals. Some of the factors considered in the signal switching algorithm are the processing time of the algorithm to calculate traffic density, the number of lanes, lag each vehicle suffers during startup, the non-linear increase in lag suffered by the vehicles which are at the back, and the maximum and minimum green signal time that can be set. This is done to prevent starvation of the lane with less traffic. The above working is summarized in the form of a flow diagram here. The 
Now let us start with the project demonstration. This is the output of our detection model using YOLO object detection. As we can see, vehicles like cars and trucks are detected with good accuracy. This gives us count of the vehicles of each class, which is fed into the algorithm to set the green time of the signal. We have developed a simulation from scratch using Pygames to visualize our system as well as compare it with the current static system. Let us have a look at it now. This is a four-way intersection with two lanes, but realistically, two wheelers always form a third lane beside the leftmost lane, so we have taken that into consideration in the simulation. There are four traffic signals, one for each direction, and each one has a countdown timer right above it. The number of vehicles that have crossed the intersection is displayed beside the signal. As we can see, the vehicle moving towards right have the next train signal, so let's focus on that signal. Detecting vehicles, right. When the right signal time reaches 5, a snapshot of the vehicles at the signal is taken and the vehicle detection algorithm is run, which returns the number of vehicles of each class. This is used to set the green signal time, which is 24 seconds in this case. The red signal time of all other signals is changed according to this. To add a sense of realism, we have some vehicles turning right on the intersection and some going straight. Now the next signal is for the vehicles moving down. When the signal is red, we display a blank value till it reaches 10 seconds, but then we show the countdown timer so that Detecting vehicles can start up and be prepared down. to move once the signal turns green. Again, when the timer reached 5, detection was performed. The next one is the vehicles moving to the left. Here, we can clearly see the effectiveness of the adaptive system. As we can see, the number of vehicles is quite less here as compared to the other lanes. With the current static system, the green signal time would have been the same for this signal, like 30 seconds or something. But in this situation, most of this time would have been wasted. Our adaptive system detects that there are only a few vehicles and sets the green time accordingly. Now, as the signal is reaching 5 seconds, the number of vehicles in this lane Detecting are detected and left. the green signal time is set, which is 10 seconds in this case, as we can see now. This time is enough for the vehicles to pass, as we can see here. A similar situation occurs for the vehicles moving up, and again, a lower value of green signal time is set. Detecting vehicles up. Now there are a lot of vehicles moving to the right, so the time set by the algorithm should be high as it adapts to the high traffic. Detecting vehicles right. And as expected, this time is set to 40 seconds. To compare our system with the current system, we compared the total number of vehicles that crossed the intersection over a total time of 1 hour with 12 simulations of 5 minutes each. These are the results obtained. As we can see with all conditions alike, the adaptive system was able to pass 2,997 vehicles while the current static system could pass only 2,435 vehicles in 1 hour, which means that 562 more vehicles passed the intersection in the adaptive system which is a significant improvement. The results can better be visualized in the graph below. The blue line is the current static system, while the red line is a proposed adaptive system. The adaptive system on an average allows 48 more vehicles to pass every 5 minutes as compared to the static system. Thus, the proposed adaptive system improves the performance by over 23%. This implies a reduction in idle green signal time, that is, signal is green but no vehicle passes, as well as the waiting time of the vehicles. In conclusion, the proposed system sets the green signal time adaptively according to traffic density at the signal and ensures that the direction with more traffic is allotted a green signal time for a longer duration as compared to the direction with lesser traffic. This will lower the unwanted delays and reduce congestion and waiting times, which in turn will reduce the fuel consumption and pollution. According to the simulation results, the system shows about 23% improvement over the current system in terms of the number of vehicles crossing the intersection, which is a significant improvement. The system can thus be integrated with the CCTV cameras in major cities in order to facilitate better management of traffic. This project can further be expanded to include some functionalities that improve traffic management even more, such as identifying vehicles running red lights, accident or breakdown detection, and adapting to emergency vehicles such as ambulance and fire trucks. Thank you for watching.